today is the start of World Water Week and I've been nominated to do this ice bucket challenge. Close to 2 billion people still don't have access to clean water to drink across the world. Every day women and girls in developing countries walk miles collecting water for their families. That's miles every day to collect water. And I've been nominated for this bucket challenge. So in order to complete it, I first need to collect the water. Uh, we've parked up just under a mile, about a mile below Beacon Tarn in the Lake District and uh, I have my bucket, so let's go! It might be Mary's ice bucket challenge, but we've got to come along too. So we're about halfway along now, still heading up. A friend has just messaged me to tell me that it's 80 metres ascent, 1.25 kilometres. Last few steps. bucket of water collected from Beacon Town. At the minute it's filled to about here. Uh, I'm very lucky I'm not actually going to have to drink this but uh, the scary amount of children die every year from diarrhoea from having to drink contaminated water. So of course the water here is particularly clean. It's good for the Lake District. So half of it done. Next challenge is to walk back down with it. I'm aware that every drop I spill, for me it doesn't matter, but for someone else having to carry this home for their day's supply, it's not good. I've only walked about 100, 150 yards. My shoulders are already aching. Anyway, on we go. Let's try it on the head. So that's us about halfway down, another break. Thank you. If I, if I try and take the weight of it against my body as I carry it, it all splashes out. So in a bucket like this, all I can do is kind of hold it out in front of me. I don't have the knowledge or the know-how to properly carry it on my head. I don't have the neck strength to carry it on my head. So all I can do is kind of take a lot of rest breaks and hold it out in front of me as I go along. So here I am, back where I started. My hands are a bit shaky from the weight. I now have this much left in my bucket. I'm not going to be a sport sport. I am going to complete my challenge. Because I'm lucky and I don't need this water to cook with, to wash with, to drink. But having gotten it from the tarn at the top, I'll return it now down to the land. But I will be making a donation to Care International UK, who last year helped a million people get access to clean water in their communities. Saved those people having to do a trek like that. So I've kind of walked a mile of someone else's life, but I've been lucky because I can do it in my own shoes. My back is killing me. But actually, I'm going to probably quite relish this next bit because I'm hot and I'm sticky. So thanks, Jim, for the nomination. Here it goes. I've got the strength to put it over my head. There's someone over there watching as well.